Hello, I'm David Girard and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, a vibe coding clown car made of clown cars that deploys another clown car that explodes. NX is a software build system. NX proudly declares itself an AI first build platform. And it turns out they have the security awareness of AI bros and they vibe code NX itself. So NX got hacked to steal its users' crypto wallets. There's two separate bits of vibe coding here, one that let the hack in and the other, the hack users. Now, this NX hack is completely, it can't be that stupid, I must be understanding it wrong, all the way down. But let's go through this step by step so our non-techie viewers and listeners can appreciate it. NX, it builds software. You write your code on your laptop, you press build, that runs NX, and you get a built version that you can put on your web server. Hooray. So NX is systemic. If you could hack NX, you could hit a lot of projects. If you look on GitHub, you'll see NX has a dot cursor rules folder. They use AI coding to write NX itself. Hilarity ensues. A pull request is when someone submits new code to add to a project. On August 21st, NX got a pull request to look at the titles of pull requests, make sure they were correctly formatted for the project. This new code was created with Claude Code, because of course it was. Somebody noticed the security hole in this code immediately, and they tweeted about it the next day. Quote, this one was written by AI and introduces a critical pull request title injection that could allow anyone to steal their NPM token with a little privilege escalation. How is stuff like this still shipping? Unquote. I mean, you, you know how stuff like this is still shipping. NX reverted the new code. The new code was not present in the main branch of NX. But malicious users realized there was probably still a way they could get in. So, on 24th August, someone submitted a pull request to NX with exploit code in it, and the NX project used NX to automatically test the exploit, like it does all pull requests, by running it. This shouldn't have worked either. But, for the programmers listening, the pull request wasn't against the main branch. It was submitted against an old version that had the exploit in it. And NX's continuous integration tested that anyway. So this handed the attacker NX's official GitHub key and NX's publishing key for the NPM software system. So on 26th August, the attacker added malware to NX and pushed the malwared versions as official releases. When you, a programmer, run the hacked NX, the malware drops the exploit into your GitHub and it runs that code. That code stole a lot of people's login keys and apparently their crypto wallets. Here's the novel bit. The malware code does not steal your logins and crypto directly itself. Instead, the malware sends a prompt to cursor or Claude code or whatever AI coding bot you have on your computer, and it tells them to steal your stuff. Normal people don't have crypto wallets because they're not get rich quick dumbasses, but a lot of AI bros sure do seem to. People who fall for AI coding are certainly smart enough to fall for crypto. The malware prompt starts, You are a file search agent and it tells the bot to go through your computer and collect all your text and configuration files, including crypto wallets. Now that's computing with agents. This shouldn't work. In tests, Claude Code mostly rejects this particular prompt because it's obviously trying to break security. But then sometimes Claude doesn't reject it and sometimes turns out to be enough. So in the future, we're going to have a lot more malware 
that only works against AI bros. The attack on NX users was mostly cleaned up, but just yesterday, the 28th, it came out there was a second wave of attacks, where the attacker used compromised keys from the first wave to get copies of those users' private code repos. At least 1,400 NX users had their code hit by this attack. NX has advice on what to do about this. It's in the security advisory. If you use NX, then you should go through that advice. But also, you should stop using NX because it's AI vibe coded slop. And what on earth are you doing trusting something that's vibe coded slop? If your supply chain uses AI slop coding, you should assume it's dangerous trash put out by morons. Ask your upstream dependencies if they use AI coding at all. Do they have the cursor rules folder? Beware. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Friends don't let friends run vibe coded software, so send them this episode to warn them. Please hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review, and Pivot is funded by you, the viewers and listeners. If you can drop just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below, it helps a lot. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now.